Also tonight, a mystery for police and a Norfolk family, a missing man case in the city. They're looking for 62-year-old Harold Mullahan. He also goes by the name JR. Last seen Monday morning near his home in Norfolk on Wednesday, his truck was found in Kerala. Penny, your size, Joe Fisher, talked with Malahan's wife today about this difficult time. Joe? Tom, Malahan's wife, Julie, is absolutely frantic tonight. She says the lack of communication from her husband is out of the ordinary, and she's asking all of us to take a close look at his pictures to help bring her husband home. He dropped me off at work, 827 Monday morning. He said, you know, goodbye, like we always do. That exchange in this pickup truck was the last time Julie Malahan saw her husband, JR. So as far as I knew, he was going to come home and go for his doctor's appointment, and I'd see him when I got off work. But when Julie got home Monday afternoon, JR was gone. The medication he takes daily and his cell phone left behind at his home on Leicester Avenue in the Pamlico neighborhood of Norfolk, and his surfboard that he hadn't used in years was missing too. And I turned around and I noticed his surfboard was gone because he kept it like a trophy. He hasn't surfed in a long time, but he kept it in its case like a trophy above his TV. Wednesday, a big development. Malahan's black Ford pickup was found on the beach in Kerala, nearly 100 miles from his home. His sandy surfboard in the bed of the truck. Nothing looks like it was messed with. His truck was locked. Obviously, something's wrong and he needs help. There's been no signs of the 62-year-old retired Norfolk firefighter, and Mollyhan's wife says above all else, the fact JR hasn't called is of most concern. If it was the last step he could take or the last breath he had, he would make sure he, could, he would call me so I wouldn't worry. But while her worries have only escalated with each passing day, she says she's holding on to hope, optimistic he'll come home. Plan for the worst and hope for the best. And police are working with few leads. Their investigation continues tonight. If you have seen Malahan or have any information into his disappearance, you're asked to give police a call. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Joe Fisher. 10 on your side.